Okay, here's an image of a check, and this is one of my checks. You see my name on it right there. Um, I have erased a lot of personal information from this check just because, as a general rule, you don't want your bank account numbers or even your address and things like that just floating around all over the place, especially not on the Internet. There are problems with identity theft, and, um, and especially in regards to financial matters. So the information has been rubbed out of this image. But I'm going to show you the main parts of a check. Every check, and you can write these in on your notes. Every check has a check number. They're usually numbered in sequence. And there's a place here to put the date. And there's usually a name up in the corner there. And under the name, sometimes there's an address and phone number. And I have uh, my address on my checks, although it's been rubbed out here. But the address goes right there. This place here where it says pay to the order of, on that line, you write who you're writing the check to. If you were writing a check, you're writing it to someone. And this is basically a little note that tells the bank to take money from your account and give it to them. So it's pay to the order of that person. They call that person the payee, the person who the check is being written to. The money will be paid to that person. They are the payee. And then there's a memo line down here. Uh, just, to, just to make a little note of what the check is for. And there's a place to sign the check right here. This is where you would put your signature. So now there's two other things on here that are important, and this is the, the point of this section. This box right here has a place where you write the amount of money, and you write it as a number. And then this line right below is where you write the amount of money as words right in there. So you write the amount as a number and as words. And that way when the banker looks at this check, they read it in both places and make sure that they match up. So let's actually write a check right now. Um, let's uh, put the date on here. Today is September 7th. 2007, and we'll pay to the order of Fred Flintstone. We're going to write a check to Fred Flintstone for $108. I'll put 108.00. And then on the line below, I write 108 and 0 one hundredths and dollars is already written for me right there. And then we write what this is for. This might be for a new car. I'm giving some money to Fred to help him buy a new car. And then I sign my name right down here. And that's how a check is written. You write who you're paying it to. You put a date. Put the amount in both forms as a number and in words. You put a little memo down there and you sign your name. Then when Fred takes this to the bank, he uh, deposits this check, and the banker looks at it and says, oh, okay, so I'm going to take $108 out of Derek Owen's account and pay that to Fred Flintstone. And the banker will check this number, 108, and he'll also read down there, 108, and make sure they match up exactly so there's no ambiguity. So even if some of these di digits are written a little bit messily, you can still see exactly how much the check was for and get the numbers right.